When you need some strong wind damage in a powerful fight, make sure to bring your favorite Cloud Strider Knight. Hey Trailblazers, Akoshi here. Today we are talking about how to build our favorite nameless, Cold Dragon Young. I, I mean, Don Hung. All aboard! Don Hung is a four star character you receive shortly after you choose your Trailblazer. His strengths lie in his ability to function as a main damage dealer and put out strong elemental wind damage with the ability to slow enemies. And his other strength lies in his ability to make you feel scolded with a strong side eye. Let's go over some builds for Don Hung. This guide includes the changed stats from version 1.0. For the sake of consistency, Max Investment, which is the character at level 80 with all of his traces. Don Hung's main abilities scale off his attack. I've divided his abilities into five categories. His basic attack, Cloud Lancer Art North Wind, does elemental wind damage to a single target. Like my uncle passing a lingerie shop, it can also slow a target down. With the Trace High Gal, his basic attack does 40% bonus attack damage to slowed enemies. Don Hung's skill, Cloud Lancer Art Torrent, does about double the damage of his basic attack and wind damage to a single target, and reduces the enemy's speed if you crit. Don Hung's ultimate ability is called Ethereal Dream just like he is mine, which does wind damage to a single target and bonus damage if the enemy is slowed. Don's talent, Superiority of Reach, allows you to do 18% increased wind resistance penetration every two turns when he's the target of an ally's ability. So he becomes even stronger when running with supports, shielders, and healers. His technique is also worth noting, as activating it before a battle increases your attack by 40% for the first three turns. I'm going to cover relics before light cones to give more accurate damage numbers with the set bonus. For Don Hung, your best bet is to run a four piece root and two tin musketeer of wild wheat. This set gives you a 12% attack bonus as well as a 6% boost to your speed. If you haven't been told yet, speed is really important the farther you progress in the game, and getting natural speed bonuses from set bonuses will free up your relic boot slot to contain extra attack percent for better damage. I'll dip into that later. For his planner ornament set, Space Ceiling Station is Don's best, giving him a 12% attack bonus and another 12% bonus with a speed over 120. For Don, I recommend the four piece over a two piece Eagle of Twilight Lane because the speed bonus helps free up your boots to give you the higher attack percent. For main stats, you wanna have a crit rate body attack percent feet, not speed due to hitting your speed threshold in other ways, a wind damage sphere, and an attack percent link rope. For substats, you will need about 5 speed and about 13% crit rate in order to keep you at a nice 50%. A quick note, Don's E1 provides a 12% crit rate boost above that substat for enemies with their HP higher than half. These stats put Don at a minimum of 121 speed 50% crit rate, 86% attack bonus, and 61% wind damage bonus as a start. The rest of your substats should focus on crit damage, then attack percent, then break effect. This video took a lot of work, so if you can take a moment to subscribe, I'd super appreciate it. Each subscription allows me to touch grass for approximately 2.34 minutes and gives me a single ounce of serotonin. It also funds one head pat for Don Hung. He's been in my basement for the last week and is really tired of telling me his stats. Thank you in advance, I enjoy making these types of videos. Don Hung follows the path of the hunt, much like I do when walking into the cheese aisle of a grocery store. And looking at the light cones available, there are three that really stand out. The light cones are actually the reason this guide took so long because I had to calculate them each differently under four separate build categories to see which stood out and how he should be built. I've experienced more trauma than Blade gave him. They say a warrior is defined by their weapon, and Don was no exception. However, I'm very proud to come to you with the results of my hard work. Don Hung's best light cone is in the night. Zila's signature light cone. Because a lot of people asked, at max level with all perks activated, in the Stellar Sea did insanely less damage. In the night increases the wearer's crit rate by 18% at SI1, and for every 10 speed that exceeds 100, both Don's basic attack and skill is increased by 6%, and his ultimate's crit damage is increased by 12%. This effect can stack up to 6 times. 
This light cone allows Don Hung to put out even stronger damage consistently across all his attacks. A note, however, that switching the attack percent boots out for speed boots lowered the damage at a base speed of 121, so keep the attack boots on for this light cone, please. Coming in second place is the 4 star light cone sword play, a kink I've never grown attached to. This is the light cone with Sushang on it. Each time Don hits the same target, his damage dealt increases by 8% at SI1, stacking up to 5 times, leading to some chunky numbers. This effect is reset once he changes his targets. As long as you plan on hitting a target more than once, this light cone does more damage than the one in the third slot. In the third slot, we have Only Silence Remains, or me after the sword play. This light cone increases Don's attack by 16% at SI1 and does not stack. If there are less than two enemies on the field, his crit rate is also increased by 12%. This light cone can be very good if you can't get your relic substats to roll into crit rate, you poor unlucky soul. As a comparison, here are all the actual numbers for all the currently available light cones for the hunt on level 80 Don Hung without crit calculated. I use the two-piece Musketeer and Eagle sets when calculating out the damage values, as I feel the higher percentage allows for slightly more separation for the numbers that are closer together, and they were close. Let's talk Team Synergy! Don Hung's best team includes Tingyun, Bronya, and a weakness damage dealer or shielder slash healer. When Bronya uses her skill and ultimate and Ting Yun gives him benediction, this drives up Don's damage increase by approximately a whopping 300%. This lets you output insane damage numbers and makes him the strongest win unit in the game currently. If you don't have Bronya, I recommend March for her substitute. After procuring his talent, it's important to remember to target Don with an ally ability right before he does really strong damage, as it does have a one turn downtime. Cold Dragon Young now is a hurricane that even Floridians would run in fear of. I can't wait to see how strong you all build your Don Hung, and as always, can't wait to see your RNG wins and losses. I'll be holding a best crit hit and biggest heal shoutout at the end of each version update on here, so be sure to get in your videos before that deadline. If you want to hang out with me while I play the game, I would love for you to check me out on Twitch at Akoshi and drop me a follow. Want more character guides, damage numbers, and all things Honkai Star Rail? Follow me here on YouTube, and make sure you have the notification bell on so you never miss a guide. Can't wait to show you some of the other things I've been working on. I'll see you starside! May this journey lead us starward.